Bizarre. Bizarre. If you want to be a true Albanian or Kosovo person, you have to try Raki in the morning every single day. Very nice. I mean, it definitely cleans your palate and gives you dragon breath. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David Binnick coming at you from Ardarch, Kosovo. If you guys don't know where this is, it's about a half hour drive outside of Feja, and this is beautiful. Right here is the beginning of the White Drin, which is a river. We have a hotel right here, we have the river, and we're now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a hike. We're gonna see waterfall, we're gonna see a cave, and then after this, we're driving to a different area. After this, we are going to Rukova Valley, the most beautiful canyons of Kosovo. And over there, we're going to see a waterfall, we're going to try the zip line, it's my first time. So we have a 30 minute hike up alongside the river but look at this how amazing so this is the very beginning of white dreams so you can see how much water comes from this mountain and all this creates a white dream river which goes through Kosovo Albania and continue all the way where it joins the black dream coming from Macedonia and right after we cross this bridge you can see here to the left we have the waterfall whoa the mist it is cold Woo! <laughs> hey! I'm soaked! Oh, I am soaked! Getting close to that waterfall is intense! Oh, the mist is flying! That all is coming from the mountain! Oh, but you're soaked! As you make your way up, you just keep getting hit with a blast of mist. It's like, I am soaked! And that combined with the freezing weather right now, oh, I can feel it in my bones how cold it is. All right, let me try it. Wow. Nothing like drinking extremely fresh water directly from the waterfall, the mountain. Now we begin to climb up along the mountain. As you can see, the path becomes jaggedy, lots of rocks. Luckily for us, we have this protective fence right here. We have the river, it keeps flowing down. That is the waterfall. Over here we have, whoa, what a beautiful bridge. Now we're crossing another bridge. As you can see right here, we are over the White Drin. Look at this. White Drin flows through here. From this bridge down, it keeps tumbling. And then it becomes a waterfall and flies down. This is so unique. I've never been to a place like this in my life. I've been to a lot of rivers, a lot of waterfalls. This one's special. It really is. Okay, guys, I don't recommend doing this, but I gotta do it. Whoa, this is <laughs> intense. Hey, how'd you get there? Yeah, I mean, we're literally looking over the waterfall. It's a little intense going in here because they basically made this path. Uh, <laughs> hey, is this the, the main path? The view is super scary. <laughs> Hold on to something here. Woo! So we're going up to the cave now. The whole time you're gonna walk along the river, taking some staircases. We have reached the entrance of the cave, the second largest cave in Kosovo, cave which has the name Sleeping Beauty Cave. It has a lot of corridors, tunnels inside, and uh, this makes it more and more natural, more beauty. So this cave uh, is 300, 620 meters long, and it makes, it makes it one of the best attractions of Kosovo. Unfortunately, we cannot go in because actually it is closed. It looks like we are out of season, but you should come here during April until October to be able to visit this cave. So the cave is open between April and October. Unfortunately for us, it's October like 15th right now. Yep. So I'm guessing season has closed for the cave. And yeah, that's basically what you can do. Hike all the way up here, see the cave, and then go back and get a coffee. What'd you find there? Oh my God, I love this salamander. 
I've never seen a salamander in the wild. This is incredible. What a beautiful animal. If you guys don't know what salamanders are, basically a type of lizard, but they're more like aquatic, always in marshy environments like this. And we made it here to the hotel restaurant. This is beautiful right here on the river. You have this bridge. Just an incredible destination. Well, I had no idea about this. He told me when we go to bed, you're gonna love it because so many things do see and eat. But this is just mind blowing. Wow, I love how they put this hotel and restaurant right here. So we are enjoying a coffee at Uivare Drinit Resort. A resort just next to the river of Drin, Wide Drin. I love this resort, I really do. It is incredible, I'm so peaceful in nature. You hear that waterfall sleeping here. Must be amazing because you hear this all night. Oh, so soothing. And here we have a little espresso. A little one shot, ooh, super good. But we also are pairing it with Rocky, the way the Kosovo and Albanian people do. Bizarre. Bizarre. Mmm. This one you can actually taste it. You can smell it too. The aroma, not so strong. Very nice. If you want to be a true Albanian or Kosovo person, you have to try Raki in the morning every single day. You know, most tourists won't do this. They don't drink Raki. Super strong, you know, the still grapes. But I enjoy it. I really like it. I mean, pairing this with this is perfect. Very nice. I mean, it definitely cleans your palate and gives you dragon breath. Oh man. Thank you. So after a great experience at the Uivara Drinit, where the source of Drin, white Drin comes out, so we're going now to zip line to try some adventure, most epic, epic adventure in uh, Rugova Valley. But except the uh, zip line, we're going to enjoy a lot of beautiful sceneries all the way up to the zip line where it starts. There are waterfalls, canyons, mountains, special. Yeah, it reminds me of Valbona. Yeah, I mean, really similar to Valbona, actually, with the river, with the canyon, got the mountains, really rocky, and obviously this all, all makes up the same area. You keep going this way, you get into like Montenegro, yeah. you know, past this is a border. border. So if you continue straight, there is the border between Albania, Montenegro, and uh, also. And here's our first stop, a waterfall. Wow, look at this. Incredible, we have the canyon, mountains, and the road goes through the mountains. So they actually made a tunnel right here. Tunnel with the river. And this right here is the waterfall. Beautiful. So you can literally just camp out right here. Not camp out, we can do a picnic. Do a picnic with the waterfall. Wow, beautiful, it's freezing too. The temperature just dropped like 10 degrees. Woo! So here there's a restaurant, and we're getting closer to the water. Wow, so the restaurant's literally on the river. Thirsty? So they never use a, a fridge here, they use, now it's too cold, but they usually put this in the water. No way. To keep it very cold. So basically this restaurant is like a picnic area restaurant along the river. As you can see right here, dining area, right? You can hang out here. Really nice, breezy, cold. Oh wow. It's relaxing there. It's amazing. What's amazing is how close this is to the city. We had to drive back through the city to get here. I mean, it took us like literally five minutes to get here. Amazing. Wow, Bella, you have so much beauty. I mean, look at this. Natural wonders. Be really, really careful when you come down here to the river. You don't want to slip and fall in there. It's freezing. I mean, with the air quality right now. Take deep breaths. Wow. The oxygen. It's so nice. My man, where are we going next? We'll just keep going straight? We'll keep going straight. We'll see another waterfall, beautiful, longer one. Yeah. 
And this is it. The waterfall's right here. Over here we have a vendor selling, I guess, honey. Maybe some drinks as well. Wow, beautiful. Check out my name. So this is an empty bottle. Wow, look at this. This is actually just a branch. So you fill it up, right? You fill it up with Raki and that's it? Amazing. So if you continue all the way up to Bog, where is the village with a few hotels, you can find on the way a few small thin waterfalls like this one we saw now. And uh, we can see from here the river of Pea and that goes all the way Valley. And that is the gorge. Unfortunately, the zip line is closed. They were supposed to be open, but they're closed, so we can't do it. Now we're going to go back to Peya and see what else we can do. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Uh, Peya has a lot of interesting things. Let's just go walk around so we find uh, beautiful sights. I mean, the drive here is really incredible. I mean, going through these mountains, and we just saw a bridge and you were saying that people can go rock climbing here. And yeah. that's what they use that bridge for. Yeah, that's a bridge for adventurous people. They can rock climbing up. So we're back here in Peya. We came to our hotel, Hotel Dukajini. 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 And we're gonna walk around here, the center. We're gonna see if we see anything interesting, right? Yeah. So you have the main square. Pedestrian street, here you have like a little book market, and to the left we have the river. And it's actually starting to drizzle right now. So this is I love Peya. Never say Peja. It's Peya, right? Oh Okay my friends, that is it for our day. We started off at the Drin River. We walked through White Drin. White Drin River. White Drin River. We saw the hotel there, we had a rocky, we walked all the way up to the top of the waterfall where the caves are. Sleeping Beauty Cave. Sleeping Beauty Cave. Unfortunately, that was closed right now, so remember, April through October. And then we came back to Peya, but we went straight up into? Rogova Valley. Rogova Valley, okay. And yeah. then there, I mean, basically you just see like waterfalls, you go along the, you know, the valley. And then guys, that's what you can do outside of Peya. When you come here, you can go explore those different areas. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me comment below, subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kosovo. Let's go.